Hi everybody, Jonathan Matt Mendes Painted Love and thank you for joining me. This is a short video to explain a little bit more about my online academy. So many of you might already have purchased one of my videos and if you have, I hope you've enjoyed it. But there's a six week masterclass, which is everything from my faded grandeur techniques to an industrial rust, um, coastal ombre, and many more things that I've pieced together to try and give you many of my core techniques to enable you to paint your furniture in your very own way. Since the Academy started, we've had thousands of people take tutorials and now we've got, at the moment, 300 people in the Academy currently learning techniques as we speak. I couldn't be happier with the results. Many of these students have done all manners of things with their painting skills. Some of them are just painting for the, themselves at home and many of them have got businesses and some of them have even become stockists of paint. Many of these students are achieving very, uh, their very own styles within the academy. Although I'm giving them uh, individual um, techniques within the masterclass and some of the separate tutorials that we do, they're amalgamating them into their own styles, which is absolutely awesome. They're becoming their own, uh, their own painters in their own right. Quite a few of my students have been picked up by some of the major paint brands and uh, used on their social media sites um, some of them have even been published, so I couldn't be more delighted with the results of my students within the Academy. My six week masterclass is six tutorials and you don't really have to do it over the six weeks, you can binge watch them if you choose, um, but within there I wanted to put six key um, core techniques within the six weeks masterclass because um, there's lots of things I do with paint that are very different. So industrial rust is very different to um, faded grandeur look. So I wanted you to be able to amalgamate them in your own unique way. So if you can do them as a six weeks class, um, you will come out the other side making it your very own look. Um, I've also got a class that's called Vintage Faded Florals. Now this is for people that might enjoy some decoupage. Uh, not only has it got decoupage within that um, tutorial, there's also my contour blend. Now, a lot of people might remember my hauntingly beautiful um, project. Well, this was contour blend, and I named it contour blend because I was thinking of a Kardashian. Um, the Kardashians like to use their makeup with contouring, and this is the same thing with paint on a piece of furniture. So this is a wonderful project. So you get buy one, get, uh, get two for free within that tutorial. And what else have we got? We've got Smoky Blend. So Smoky Blend has come from just a technique that I developed a long time ago. Um, when everybody was doing um, ombreing and doing very linear sort of blending with colors, I just found it was more forgiving to do a smoky ephemeral sort of look um, with, the, with the paint uh, in a sort of patchy way. So it's very similar to uh, ombreing or contour blend, um, but it's a little bit more, I think it's more organic in its feel. So, and it can be done with any colors. You can use as many colors as you like within that tutorial, as I have in my nine colors um, in the Smoky Blend tutorial. I have um, a wonderful tutorial on salt wash verdigris, and I developed this technique with salt wash because I knew that the salt wash would add texture to the project and verdigris technique needs sort of textures and places for the paint to grab to. So I really wanted to make a very spring-like project, uh, an outsidey gardeny project, which would really work well with salt wash. And uh, I'm really pleased with the outcome of the tutorial of salt wash verdigris. Um, I think there's so much fun to be had on there. I used the core technique in that in that tutorial across most of my um, faded grandeur looks as well. So people might think it's one thing, but you will learn so much about washes and how the pigment of the paint sticks to the item that you're working on. So check that tutorial out. It's a fabulous tutorial. I love it. I think it's wonderful. The biggest request for any of my tutorials would be my faux leather chair, which was painted over fabric. And as you can see, I'm sat on it. 
So this chair is iconic. It's been seen all over the world and for two years I've been sitting back off doing this tutorial and I've finally done it. I've been filming actually on this day this painted look so I couldn't be happier to be showcasing um, how to paint fabric to get a faux leather finish and it's happening so watch this space. <laughs> 